Hey what's up everybody my name is TrophyNet and welcome back to XCOM 2 in our Commander playthrough. We're here ready to go on Operation Night King. We're gonna sabotage another alien facility and that means we're gonna have to destroy that place in its entirety. On this mission a bit of an unorthodox squad we have two sharpshooters Vinny and Cedric and two specialists Emma and Hugh. Then Ulrich our uh, fixed grenadier and Christoph our fixed lancer, uh, lancer not a ranger. So here we go. So the advent, uh, the avatar project timer is running at its end again so we really need to destroy this facility. Although we have a backup this time. Sky ranger deployed. We're in the, pipe. Five in five the five. Uh, scenario that we're gonna fail this we hopefully won't. We have a positive confirmation on the position of a facility conducting research crucial to the Avatar project in this region. The coordinates are locked in for a tactical strike. Move to the designated position and plant the X-4 charges. Once they're armed, move to minimum safe distance and we'll turn that place into rubble. So just in case we would fail this mission, um, we still have the backup in which we can actually try to uh make contact with South Africa and perform the Black Side Vile Coordinates mission, I think. That was the mission that we can do in South Africa. But before that, we're gonna destroy this thing. Menace 1-5, target coordinates are locked in. Move to designated position and place the X-4 charges. So, we still have a backup, but we're gonna try and uh, destroy this building nonetheless. So, I think nine enemies with one unknown type uh, and a lot of high level enemies in there, but uh, I guess I'll see you guys in a second. And I think we got contact with Ulrich two turns later. Yeah, there we go. So, a turret, a heavily armored turret. Shouldn't be that much of a problem. We have enough of the EMP rounds in our arsenal. To take care of that thing in one fell swoop. Because I could actually almost kill it with the sniper rifle, uh, with the upgraded sniper rifle. Moving out. But with that in sight, I'm gonna just skip ahead until we start attacking. So give me a second again. And we see something else two sectoids and an Archon while we're getting closer to the building. But I'm gonna move away from that as well. So uh, see you in a second. So yeah, it's high time. We got a pretty good position on those uh, on that turret. We're gonna just take it out pretty quickly, and then we should be moving on. So first off, I think I'm gonna use Ulrich's first shot to whittle it down a bit to reduce the armor on the turret. There we go. Three armor shredded and eight damage. That was actually really really good. So thank you, Ulrich, for that. And that's not bad, because now we can quickly take it out with a pistol shot from Vinny. So, I might not, I'm not even going to waste um, a lightning reflex shot on that, just a normal shot. There we go, goodbye. But that does mean we lose concealment. Uh, we still have Kistov, of course, to move a bit closer. Uh, but before we do anything else, I want to use him, of course. On my way. Let's take a look around. I think I'm gonna actually use Hugh and put him over there. We don't really have a timer, so we can take our sweet time doing everything. Um, and that's about it for now. I think maybe if I do, I want to move a bit further. I might actually want to do that. So that we still have sight on. Oh shit, balls! It also gives off very strong psionic readings. That is, that is, that might be a bit of a problem. So that thing is a gatekeeper. And that's the, I think it's one of the last enemy types we're gonna come across. So very heavily armored. Six armor and a buttload of health. Uh, we can take it out. That's not the problem. But I do hope, did I actually bring acid bombs with me? Because it appears I haven't. Ooh, this might, this might pose a threat. But yeah, let's just put everybody on Overwatch and try to take, Overwatch. well, take out a few thingies over there. Because this is gonna probably set a few things off, yeah. 
A blammo! That's one sectoid down. Nicely done. Not too shabby. And now we have five enemies left. With one of them being a very, very powerful gatekeeper. But it also means that we're gonna have dealt with most of the enemies before going any further. So 8 damage on the Arkham, which is really good. The pistol shot did miss. But that's about it. And then... Oh, yeah, okay. So nobody has sight on those guys. So that's good. We can take our time and take out the guys we just antagonized before doing anything else. Um... We have a lightning reflex shot if we want to, but only on the Archon. Cedric has a few nice shots actually. 98 on the Archon, so if I'm careful about this, I could actually take out... And I need to take out that Sectoid as well. Um... If I put Ulrich over here, am I going to activate those other guys? I might actually, so... I'm gonna put him here first. I don't think that triggers anything. No, it doesn't. And then we should be able to fire at the Sectoid. It appears as though I can't really do anything against him. 37. It's not that great, is it? Uh, what else do we have? We have Hugh. Who might have a shot if I put him there. I could combat protocol the Sectoid. And I'm just going to try a 45% shot first. There we go. Thank you, Hugh. That was... That was a 50-50. Point holes. That worked out great. Uh, so now I think I'm going to use... Yeah, Ulrich. To hopefully weaken the Archon. So that was a dodge. But that was enough to finish him off with a sniper shot. If I'm not mistaken. So, Cedric... Would you do the honors to uh, of killing that uh, lovely Archon over there? 98%. Take aim and... Blabbo in the face, even a critical. That was amazing. Okay. So that means three enemies down. A lot of more enemies left. I think I can put Emma here without triggering anything. And I put it on Overwatch. And then I think I'm going to even put Vinny on Overwatch as well, causing us to automatically trigger that batch if they move. Eyes on the prize. But they don't. They don't. So... That is actually annoying. I was hoping they would move. Uh, but since Kistov has the war suit, I think I'm going to use his rocket launcher to set everything off. That's going to... Because the rocket launcher has... Has a, an enormous range. And I think that will shred a bit of the armor of the gatekeeper. And yeah, I think that's a good, good start. Although I might want to put some of my guys a bit closer again. So we actually have a shot. Yeah, I'm going to do that first. So let's put a few of these guys a bit closer. Although I really don't want to risk it. They're at the edge, but I think the trooper is close enough for me to get... Freaked out about it, so I think this is gonna have to be it. Uh, although, can I? I might actually reload before we do anything else. So, Overwatch reloads. Overwatch. Reload. Most of these guys have auto loaders, I know that. But. Just wanna be sure, and don't wanna mess with a gatekeeper without having plenty of ammo to spare. So, yeah, there we go. And Overwatch is all away. So, yeah, he's not moving. Um, so, that means I'm going to start off by firing the rocket launcher at... Hmm, that was... That, that looks like it should be able to hit whatever is accompanying that gatekeeper aside from the trooper. So, uh, yeah, bring the pain. Bam! That shred two of his armor... And apparently there's nothing else there. Or maybe... No, there is something else. There's a Lancer over there as well. Hello, Gatekeeper. Blasting through the scenery. There we go. Getting close enough for us to do a bit more damage. Ulrich. Can you get a grenade all the way over there? I can and I will. 
Well, he can and he will. Uh, so I'm going to take it out like this so we can take out the trooper immediately as well. And take out most of his armor. It's sad that we didn't bring any acid bombs. I kind of forgot about that. Because most of them are just normal troopers. But the gatekeeper, I should have taken that into account. So the trooper is down. The gatekeeper still has two armor left. Which says something, of course. Um, now I can fire again. But the gatekeeper has an enormous amount of defense, as you can see. I could fire another rocket at it. Well, grenade at it. Uh, trying to take out the loss of its armor. And maybe even take out the cover of the Lancer. Yeah, like that. Maybe that's the best option. Because Ulrich's uh, weapon doesn't really have a lot of aim. So that should take out the armor of the gatekeeper. Please do. I don't feel like that's a waste. Because those gatekeepers can really do some damage. They have a very powerful beam attack. And a few uh, psionic abilities as well. They're not robotic. As though they might seem that way. Because they're organic inside. So I can't really hack them. Uh, but everything else is of course possible. Could kill the Lancer from here, but I think most of the damage should go to the Gatekeeper. Because um, he is actually weak to EMP rounds, which I might take advantage of here. Um, if I put Vinny a bit closer, I can actually use Lightning Reflexes on the Gatekeeper. So 8 to 11 if it hits. But the hit chances are really, really low, so I'm... Gonna have to be careful. There we go. 10 damage. That's really, really solid. So that's why those EMP rounds are so damn important. I might actually make a few more. Just to be able to use that on more... Uh, with more troops. So I'm gonna use his face-off ability. Might actually kill off the uh, Lancer as well. There we go. And that's... Ooh, that looked like it was going right in his eye, but well, apparently not. So loot, loot over there. That is really good. But now, I could kill it with a single sniper shot. If it hits, it kills it, I think, because it still has eight. Yeah, it still has eight uh, health left. So let's try the sniper rifle. Ooh, yes. There we go. So gatekeepers also explode, uh, which could be annoying if we uh, weren't prepared for that. Uh, but yeah, so that, that went actually pretty good. Could have gone a lot worse than that. But Emma, could you move further and try to get a bit closer to that loot? Because I do want to get that. Um, maybe on the corner of the building here. And then Hugh over here. And I think we can see the building already. So now we're going to just put everybody on Overwatch. There we go. So nothing else. Let's slowly move our way towards the loot. Because I do want to have that. Just slowly so that we don't accidentally trigger too much. Not that we can't trigger that much anymore. Because we're uh, pretty much at the last batch of enemies if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'm going to use the grappling hook on Cedric to put him up there. It should be a really good position later on. Doesn't trigger anything yet. And then I'm just going to boost Ulrich further as well. Okay, so I'm going to have to put Christoph right there in the loot. Out of cover, sadly. And he does see something, so I'm going to have to be careful from now on. Or that might be the animation of the... Ooh, ooh wow. Advanced laser sight, advanced conditioning PCS, adding two health to whoever gets that chip. An advent data pad, which could give us more intel. An advanced agility. Damn, son. I would like a few more Illyrium cores, but yeah, I'm gonna be happy with what I get. Um, so moving on. I could handle that. Oh, got some. There we go. Somehow we saw all of that. Ooh, that is annoying. How the hell did he even see that? So a shield bear, a normal trooper, I think, and a sector pulled. We knew that kind of. Oh, I can actually fire the, the shield bear over there. They're pretty good. Well, they're pretty much in cover over there, but I think I can use an incendiary bomb and just blow them out of, out of existence. Does this hit the... God damn it, I can't see that. Let's turn the camera a bit. 
I think this does hit the... Oh no, it doesn't. It far from... Oh no. I'm gonna just do this, the incendiary bomb, because, well... It's probably the last batch of enemies, so I don't really need these anymore. And I might actually be able to destroy the shield bear's cover with this. So it does shred the armor and add burning damage, but I don't think it destroyed the cover. I'm gonna fire at the Lancer here, because he's the closest. And I can't do anything about that Sectopold in the back. Oh, and that was actually a hit. That was really nicely done, Ulrich. Wow. Um, with that done, I think I can use Cedric up there to fire at the Shield Bear from over here. So 100% should kill him. And then if all goes well, it should be just the Sectopod that's left. So I'm going to have to be careful here. I should reload. And then I'm going to try and use the grappling hook to get me... To get Cedric up the, on top of the roof, roof. On the roof. On the roof. There we go. I don't think he gets a shot at the sectopod, no, because I think the sectopod is... I don't even know where the sectopod is. Does anybody see the sectopod? Doesn't look like it. Um, I'm going to open the door. Maybe that does something. It should... Wait, don't, don't you see... Oh no, that pillar is in the way. Oh, that is interesting. Huh. So I could use run and gun to try and take out the the Lancer over there. So I'm going to put his stuff here. He only sees the Lancer from over here, so that's good. And I'm going to try rapid fires 50-50 twice, and this is 70. Well, I think this is the time that rapid fire shines the most. Because this will give us two... Yeah, okay, never mind. Didn't even need to explain the math about that. You know that was good. That was really, really good. So, Implacable allows us to move back a bit. So, I'm going to put him behind this wall no here. Problem, boss. Just in case the Sectopod decides to waltz inside of the building. And then I'm going to move Emma over here. To position. If she sees the Sectopod... No, she doesn't. Um... That means I'm going to put a few of the guys on Overwatch. And I am going to use the Mimic Beacon just in case that Sectopod rears its ugly, ugly mug. So, probably over there. I'm actually wondering if the Mimic Beacon would give us extra sidelines. I don't think it does. It's going around the area. I think it's down there. Yeah, okay, so it's up there. That is interesting. So he's gonna fire... Tw oh, no. He's not firing twice. Okay, then. I did waste running gun, so I don't really have a good position to put everybody here. But... Um, Cedric, don't you see him from over there? Maybe... Over here. I'm going. Give us a bit of sight on that sectopod. Yeah, now he sees him. Yeah, he's right over there with a lot of armor. So Ulrich, why is Ulrich so far away? Why is he so far away? That's That's not good. That is not good at all. Can I Can I flashbang? I could hack it, but I think before we do that, I'm gonna put Vinny over here. Here. Whatever you say. I'm hoping that gives us. Yeah, okay, that does. That gives us a few shots. So I'm gonna use lightning hands. There we go. So that reduces its, its hack defense. And I'm wondering if it actually reduces it further on consecutive shots. Because that's exactly what we're gonna do. <coughs> wow, he's hitting every pistol shot, isn't he? That was really good, because he has five armor. Um, ooh, how are we going to do this? Because 
The only Grenadier we have with shredding, shredding shots is Ulrich, and Ulrich is too far away to do anything about that. So I'm gonna put him over there. And so I think, Emma, it's all up to you. We're gonna have to rely on your Haywire protocol to temporarily stun the Sector Pod. Because I don't think there's much use in taking it for ourselves, but if we can, I'm going to. So no, 50% chance to stun it and 27 to take temporary control. So I'm going to try and stun it. Wow, those are really bad chances. Please! Yes, okay. It would have even worked on the control, but shutdown is really, really good. Okay. And shutting down. Goodbye. So I think it said two turns. Did it say two turns? Ah, goddammit, I just missed it. Um, so I'm gonna use this opportunity to put a few of the guys closer and start firing at it with everything we've got. I'm not gonna waste Cedric's shots, but I'm gonna put them a bit closer. There aren't any more enemies, so that shouldn't give us any trouble, but I can't take out the armor from over here, so... That's annoying as well. I can't put Kistov over here in the corner, which should give him a nice shot at the sector pod anyway. And then you fire away. Two damage. But that five, five armor is gonna be really, really annoying. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna use... But that's gonna have to wait for a second. So double shot on the sector pod. There we go. Critical. 10 damage. That was really good. And another... Did that destroy it? Whoa. Did you see that one? Those... Those... Freaking shredder rounds are really, really good. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm gonna just put you... Keep you there. Can I just end the turn? Yeah, I can do that. Okay, so that's good. Because we know where they are, we have a lot of guys pointed in that direction. And we're gonna just use... I think we're gonna use... Um, Emma, maybe? I think I'm gonna use Emma to plant the explosives in the next turn, if I can. Or is there someone who can get there in this turn? Oh, Ulrich can get there in this turn, so I'm gonna use him. Uh, and everybody else... Let's put them in nice... ...positions to get a... ...a bead on those guys that are gonna spawn in a second. Um, I'm gonna put Emma a bit closer as well, maybe even... Oh, ...across the roof? No, I'm just gonna put her down here. Got it. There Moving. we go, and then... ...Hugh on Overwatch. Vinny, I could put you up there as well, although you're probably better suited to go a bit lower Solid on Kristoff's level. And then the Plasma Lance Overwatch shot. Uh, reload with Kristoff's Storm Gun. On Overwatch. And then uh, I think that was even an auto loader, yeah, indeed. So I might actually just put him. I'm just gonna do something really, really nasty towards the aliens. I'm just gonna put him right next to the spawn point. And just uh, put him on Overwatch there. And they're gonna get a shotgun in the face the moment they land. And there we go. So, advanced mech, advanced lancer, and an officer. Okay, fair enough. Got some advent here. You do? Yeah, I'm right there. Hello. Blamo. Oh, what? How the hell did he miss that? That was 9 on the officer. And now we have a, a sniper shot as well. And... Dodged. Dodged? Seriously? One... One... God damn it. One health. Okay, so the mech is on Overwatch. But that's not that bad. Because we actually have a Shadow Step. So his stuff doesn't even trigger that. Um, Vinny. It might not be such a bad idea to just use face-off here. Because, yeah, maybe just fire once at the mech. Just to take his health down. There we go. 
And then I'm just gonna use... Face off to try and kill everybody else. There's... Oh, that didn't kill it. That's three damage. And he can't see the officer. That's too bad. Okay. So that's one damage on each of those guys. Um, okay. Emma. Ooh. You have the chance to skill jack a few of these guys. I'm going to do that. So skill mine the officer from... Is that a window? God damn it, I can't... Is that a... That's a wall. You wanted to, to hack that guy through a wall. I would love to do that, but I don't like just cheating like that. So I'm just going to use this. And hopefully get something nice out of it. It's not down. Watch it. Okay, yeah, he missed. She missed. She missed. She kind of spoiled that beforehand, but... Wait, what? Oh, she has a stock. So that means she does two guaranteed damage, even though that wasn't really a, a damage dealing attack, though. But fire at the Mac. Um, yeah, goodbye. Wow, that was a laser rifle in the face. Okay, and then Kristoff can take out the uh, Lancer over here if he wants to. Yeah, I think it's very, very doable. So, do we have any other promotions, by the way, that we still need to do? Cedric might actually use the promotion here, so I'm just going to use him. There we go. Goodbye. Took his tough snack for some reason, but that, that worked out fine. Well, how about that? And then Ulrich placed Venice those five. charges. Up any additional contacts near the AO. Proceed to plant the X4 charges and move to evac. Menace and then I'm going to move. Confirmed. X4 charges are armed. Move to the extraction point for immediate evac. So I think most of the guys are close to this area. So I'm actually going to use the evacuation zone and put it down here. Where Emma is as well. So just right over there. Put it down and I'm, I'm just going to put everybody in there. So they're not even spawning in enemies anymore. So uh, yeah, I would say mission successful. Just get everybody out of there. And then we're uh, we're done here. Thank you. Goodbye. And then... Explosion! I do love that. That is amazing. And so 15 turns to kill 13 enemies. It was a flawless, but it did take us a while. Mostly because of the gatekeeper. The alien facility maps are always a bit bigger as well. So that's uh, pretty much the reason why we uh, did so long. So 100% successful shot percentage. Really, really nicely. Cedric dealt most damage. Ulrich made most attacks. The mimic beacon, of course, was under fire most. And Kristoff, as always, moved the furthest. Thank you, guys. Operation Night King, a shining... Success. Goodbye. Come on. I, that was... Come on, that was timing. I wanted to time that at the end of this loading screen, but never mind. There we go. Ah, oh, that was actually really nicely done, guys. Smooth sailing. Even though we didn't bring all our best guys. If every mission goes this smooth, God damn it, no promotions. It's only a matter of time before we regain control of the planet. Yes, indeed. But no promotions, sadly. I think I'm going to start thinking about bringing some rookies on these missions because, uh, or even buying a few more rookies because we're running out. In ruin, Commander. Excellent work. Your efforts will no doubt slow the alien's progress towards the Avatar project. So since this was an alien facility that uh, after we did one already, we only reduced the Avatar progress by one. So we're still really, really close to uh, getting it completed. But that gave us a bit more time so if we check out the map again we'll see that we still have a bit more time so there we go facility in new india destroyed so that's really good but now we're gonna have to start making contact with south africa over here why is the map so zoomed in or is that just me i kind of feel like it's way too zoomed in but we put a radio relay over here so that's gonna help us get in contact with South Africa. For South Africa. We actually started that already apparently. So uh, give me a second. 
Attempting to establish and now we got a guerrilla operation attack. pretty much immediately. Interesting. So, New Arctic where we got 185 supplies and we counter the hidden event. Then we have rural checkpoints so it decreases the supplies given at the next resistance supply drop by 50%. Which would be... Good. Actually really really good. Uh, if we can block that but we only get a scientist and then an engineer. I'm not even gonna go for the, the engineer. Because uh, we don't really need any more engineers. So Western Europe or New Arctic. If we counter the rural checkpoint dark event we do actually get more supplies than we would if we pick new arctic because the supplies we're going to get from the supply drop uh half of that is more than what we would get over here so i think i'm just going to go for western europe there we go so i do want to make some changes um because we've been relying on the same guys for way too long i do want to boost a few of the lower level guys on top so i think i'm going to remove most of the colonels uh, which means I'm gonna remove his stuff and I'm gonna re I'm actually gonna keep Hugh and everybody else is apparently a major so I'm getting I am going to keep those guys but I am gonna put back um, jazz there we go I'm actually gonna clear armor and I'm gonna clear uh, utility items and then we're gonna give um, do I remove Emma? Or even Hugh? I remove Hugh way too often. But I think if I do want to level a few of the guys, I am going to remove Hugh. And just put Yang back in. Because Yang could really use a few upgrades as well. So, that is something. Uh, with that done, I'm going to just get these guys back out. So, give me a second. So yeah, this is it. Uh, Vinny with the EMP rounds as always. Uh, Jazz with the shredding rounds, so the talon rounds and the mimic beacon, which would give him a nice buff. And then Ulrich with the incendiary and normal grenades. Yang with uh, a nanoscale vest and the acid bombs combined with a normal rocket launcher on her war suit. Uh, Emma with an EMP bomb and the skull jack. And then we have Cedric with the hazmat suit and of course the raid suit on top of that so that's the squad we're gonna head out with in the next mission operation morbid rhyme another rhyme it's that's the third rhyme mission already uh, in which we would get a scientist on a difficult mission so it should be pretty pretty fine so uh, thank you guys enormously for watching if you enjoyed the episode don't forget to like it right here on youtube and if you haven't already don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel because i'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me so thanks again enormously for watching and i hope to see you in the next video or series Goodbye.